guys welcome to a new video here on my channel and today I want to talk about my 2022 board range because I've put a lot of thought into it this year which boards do I want especially with the addition of foiling and my first real foiling board I thought which slalom boards do I actually really need because I don't like to travel with so much gear all the time like for example in Tarifa I was down there with eight boards and I want to reduce it a little bit because it's such a hassle to put all the boards in the car and have all the space and then everything you need is always on the bottom of the car. So I really put a lot of thought into it. Which boards do I want for my range this year and which are really necessary? Okay, so I want to go over each and every board and tell you in what wind range and for what purposes I want that board. So starting off, the board which I've probably used the most over the last couple of months is of course the foiling board. This is the 91 AV Modena slalom foil board. So this board is not like a race board designed purely for up and downwind racing, but it is designed for maximum speed on the slalom reach, which means that even on a half wind course, you can really push and the board will not like overpower like a race board with 100 centimeter of width would. So on the low wind end, I use this board from seven to eight knots usually with a 7.8 and a 1000 front wing and yeah that gives me a lot of power with this board so I can really start to go windsurfing or wind foiling from 7 to 8 knots and have a lot of fun already which I couldn't have on a big slalom board. Talking about the big slalom board this is actually the board I cut out of my range this year so I don't have an 85 wide or around 140 liter board this year. I cut this board out because it's kind of overlapping with a foil board and this was a really hard decision for me as I used to really really like sailing on an 85 slalom board. Especially on my local lake like the Möhnesee or when I'm in Leipzig at the Kospudena lake I found that for slalom you have the most fun on an 85 wide board and I used to use this board really up to 25 knots on the lakes because there was usually not a good reason to go onto a smaller board because it's so gusty and also like the the kind of chop that you have on a lake you don't really get faster with a smaller board so I usually have the same speeds on my 85 wide slalom board around 35 to 36 knots that I did on my medium slalom board on the Möhnesee my home spot I've actually never been faster with a medium board than with the big slalom board so it was kind of a hard decision for me to cut out the big slalom board this year but it's overlapping a lot with the foil and foiling also is used in higher and higher winds so I also have a lot of fun foiling in 15 18 knots now and yeah that's really the same range like the 85 wide slalom board so I didn't want to carry both boards in the van with me my dad still has a couple old boards of those so if I ever want to go back I have the option which is nice on the lake but for traveling I will not be taking an 85 wide slalom board with me anymore which was a big decision for me. So instead what I ended up doing was buying a medium slalom board and basically buying the biggest medium slalom board out there. So I will cover a little bit more of the low wind range with this board compared to what I usually did with a little bit smaller of a medium board. So I have this one here which is the 72.5 wide AV Modena and yeah this is the board that just arrived a couple weeks ago just before Fuerteventura and I've sailed this board once on Fuerteventura only because the wind was quite strong and I really immediately fell in love with this board. So it's a 72.5 wide. Usually I used to sail around two centimeters shorter in that wind range but I had the same speeds on that board like I did with the previously smaller boards. So this board is still really really fast for a 72.5. I had like 37 knots with this board on my first go. So it has a lot of potential and I think I can even do 40 knots on the board which for speed surfing is really nice but for slalom this board also jibes like a dream and the build quality of all these boards is really nice anyway since they're not produced at Cobra so you have a little bit higher quality and not so much variance between one board and the next like you sometimes have with Cobra boards so yeah this board has 118 liters of volume which is also nice for me with 85 kilograms especially in the winter when I go out it's not a sinker for me like it's really easy to just go back if the wind dies or something like that so yeah that's why I went with a kind of big medium slalom board this year and then the last board you probably already know really well because I've sailed it plenty of times in Tarifa and it's this one the 62 wide AV Modena and I really really love this board and also here same principle before I used to sail really around 59 60 wide boards in these 
in this range and now I went with a little bit bigger board. It gives me a little bit more flexibility with the sails, like it rides really really nice with a 7.0 sail and yeah I also got already 40 knots with this board so it's a pretty nice board, quite light, I think less than five, around 5.5 kilograms and yeah that's my smallest slalom board. I didn't buy any smaller slalom boards. So the smaller boards I have are all speed boards. Okay, so then for the speed boards, which I don't have with me here at the moment, I use the 52 wide and the 45 wide speed board. And why do I have two speed boards? Well, the reason is you can do speed surfing in kind of two different conditions. One is like this, which you know from my videos, this super flat uh, water in the, in the uh, tidal creeks or at La Franqui, where you really don't have any chop and for these kind of circumstances I really like the 45. It's the fastest board on a really perfect course but there are also conditions like for example at the Steinhuder Lake where you have when it's windy like this 30, 40, 50 centimeter high chop and the board needs to be a bit different for these conditions because you need to kind of absorb the chop more and for this I have the 52 AV Modena speed and this board is a dream when it comes to going over chop like it's not getting so uncontrollable like the 45 which is really made for flat water and I can get a lot higher speeds in these conditions. So that's why I have two different kind of speed boards which complement my range. So now we're up to five boards. Is that everything? No, not really. So the last board which I used, which you also saw me using in Tarifa quite a lot, is my wave board and it's an old wave board. It's not a new wave board from AV. I just bought for like 200 euro an old 88 liter Fnatic free wave I think the name is and yeah for me like a lot of you guys made fun of me how bad my wave skills are and I agree I suck at wave windsurfing but for me when I learn something same like with foiling here I don't like to immediately go onto the most expensive and newest equipment because I crash a lot I damage the stuff and that's why I went with an old wave board for now it would be super nice to at some point get the wave boards from AV because they're supposed to be also really really nice but for now me learning to jump and crashing basically every jump I'm going with this old fanatic wave board and guys I really have so much fun on that because unlike the racing disciplines it's just pure fun it's not about speed or anything it's just about enjoying yourselves out there and the gear is so light and nice that it's so much fun so I have six boards this year for my range stupid bucks so yeah for this year I got six boards in my range which fit nicely in the car and of course we're also selling these boards in the wind lounge so if you're interested at all in the boards just write me an email at niels at windlounge.de and I can tell you everything about the boards for me the main thing why I really love the AVs for now is that they're super light they're they have a good build quality so you don't have these weird scratches and like these weird damages that you have with Cobra boards and also they are super free they ride super freely so you have a lot of lift with the boards compared to other brands which I really like because they give me a lot of power and I decide how much lift I want and I'm never lacking lift with these boards so I really like that so yeah if you oh it's so bright today if you want to know more about the boards just feel free to write me an email at nielsetwindlounge.de and I can tell you everything about the boards. And yeah, why did I say it's so important for me that I don't have too much gear at the moment? Because I actually want to go on a little road trip with my car and yeah, I actually upgraded my car a little bit. So as you know, I was kind of sick for the last few weeks. So what I did is work on the car to make it a little bit more neat and now I have space for three boards. I have the foil board over there, the 72 slalom over there and then the 62 slalom down there. So I have space for three boards with all the sails and masts and booms. Down there I could fit another board so I could fit four boards in there uh, if I screw off the foot straps from the last board and push it down there. And then to continue the little tour I have storage space over here all the way to the front and I have storage space over here. I have the foil here, my extensions, I got a bit of tools over there and if we go around there is more storage space down here so I can put stuff in here, I put can put some stuff in there. So that's really nice I think. And yeah I was actually thinking for a long while if I should upgrade to a bigger van and really build it out as a camper van 
but yeah there's some reasons for me why I don't like to do that so first of all it's a lot more expensive because you pay a lot more gas than if you go to France or somewhere you pay a lot more fees for the highway if you go on a ferry you pay almost twice as much then on top of that on some beaches you have like this two meter limit for the beaches so you cannot go with a big van onto a lot of beaches and yeah all these reasons kind of put me off from buying a big van and building it out as a camper and on top of that usually when i go i get like some airbnb and it's not so expensive like i don't save so much money building a bigger van paying all these extra stuff paying everything for building it out really nicely and yeah in my winter training i'm usually down in tarifa and i have a nice airbnb there which is not too expensive so why go through all this hassle but what i really like is having my gear a bit more neatly organized in here now and not having to worry about where do i put all the stuff having like now i can put four boards in so for example when i want to go on a road trip now i usually don't have speed conditions so i don't need the two speed boards so four boards is really all enough and if I want to take the speed boards go on a speed trip I can just take out the foil board here and put both speed boards on here because they are 45 and 72 wide so they fit really nicely in there and yeah I really like how it's organized right now it's not completely finished but I will be heading off in about a week or two and of course take you along and I got some exciting stuff planned for this trip guess in the comments where I'm going because I'm really excited to go there and do some cool windsurfing content for you guys and then I have the option to sleep up here on a big mattress in the car but of course I will also book Airbnbs and stuff but it's nice to have the option like if you're just somewhere and just want to go to sleep get in your car have a nice big bed and go to sleep so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed this kind of more or less windsurfing free video because I didn't go windsurfing today but if you enjoy videos like this anyway leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel thanks to all my patreons and i'll see you in the next one which will have some windsurfing action again i promise bye